Hello everyone, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we are going to be taking a look at a repaint I did of the recently released PCS The Howling Statue. Now when I received the statue, um, it was pretty bland, it was uh, pretty muddy and flat, um, and I just really needed a repaint. So what, did I, what I ended up doing was, uh, the base is supposed to be wood, so I added wood tones to the base. I also pumped up the wood tones on the tree. And uh, on the mud here, I added a little bit of green texture just to kind of break things up because everything was like one monotone. And I wanted some, um, some color pop there. And I also brightened up the moss that was on the tree. As far as the wolf, I basically redid the whole thing except for the eyes and the teeth. I was actually pretty happy with the, the mouth. I did gloss the mouth a bit more, but looking at some reference photos of the howling, they used several different wolves uh, that were several different colors for, I guess, you know, depending on the lighting of a particular shot or not. Uh, it's actually, uh, there's actually one that's pretty much uh, light gray or white uh, with a little bit of um, dark coloring here and there. Uh, but most of what they used was like a dark uh, charcoal with um, a light gray around the snout and the eyes and then a light gray on the hands um, up to the point of the fingers. So I kind of used that as a reference and then I um, highlighted all of the hair work on here to give depth to the 3D sculpt. I'm pretty happy with uh, how it turned out. Um, so what we'll do is I'll show you the two different heads and we'll do some rotations here and some up close shots uh, for you. But um, if you're looking at doing this, it's pretty easy to do, but it's uh, pretty time consuming as well. But I recommend it because um, it really brings the piece out. It brings the sculpt out uh, and I like the piece a whole lot more. I will say though that the, the one third scale skull still bothers me. Uh, it really bothers me, but I try to get over it. And of course, as always, before we start spinning this around and taking a closer look at it, uh, feel free to leave any uh, questions or comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And also feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the repaint. I'm kind of digging it. And again, like I am no like master painter. I'm very basic, but I know enough to kind of get by and to get me into trouble. But uh, I'm definitely liking how this thing came out. 